Here it is, the Sony A7 IV. You know what? Let's not mess around because we've got a hell of a video planned today. So let's just finally unbox this thing. We've got some instructions, manuals. Don't need any of that, neither of that either. Let's start here. Camera strap, A7 IV camera strap. Anyone wants one? Let me know. Um, next, what do we have here? Type C cable. I don't have a million of them at the moment. Um, this will be the battery. I think it's exactly the same battery that you find in all of Sony's full frame bodies And that's not even the battery. That's the charger. Okay, this should be the battery. Yes, there we go Battery Woo. Here it is Oh Yes Tony a 7 4 you watch just the wrong one. <laughs> Can you imagine they sent me the wrong camera? Yes! Yes! It is right here. Oh, it feels good. Very similar to the Sony A7S3. Um, I love the body, everything. There's some new button placements. Like I think this used to be the uh, exposure comp. Um, and they've also separated the menus. Don't know if my camera will focus here. So it's now, um, can you see it? No, you probably can't. So it's now um, photo and video. So you just switch them like that. That's really nice. And I presume all the custom buttons form will be different for both video and photography. So I'll be doing a video on how I set up my camera for photography and video as well. And finally, finally, on my own camera, I finally have a flippy, tilty, lovely screen. Do you know the last time I had one of these on a camera was my very first camera. It was the Nikon D5200. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Let's slap a lens on it. Let's turn it on. And then we'll go out shooting with it. Woo! Okay, good morning. It is the uh, day of the shoot. There have been some developments with the shoot itself. Uh, one of which is the car we're gonna be shooting. I don't know if I've put it in like the title of the video or anything like that, but um, as I don't know what I'm doing yet, I'm just gonna keep it secret. Uh, but let's just say it's an Italian supercar. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Right, we've made it to the location where we're going to be shooting today. Ben's right here, and I've also just seen the car we're going to be shooting. Good Good to see you. Let's see you, mate. How are things going? Yeah, good. Got some nice cars in. Yeah, just. Uh... We've arrived at my mate's uh, car detailing place. He's currently got in right here a Porsche uh, GT4. He's currently working on this Discovery right here, and the car we're going to be shooting is outside. So the first thing we're going to do before we jump in and do video with the Sony a 7 IV. We're gonna start with some photography. I put my GoPro with me. I'm gonna do sort of a little bit of a POV, but just get photos of Ben as he works away. We're also gonna be playing around with a few different lenses. I bought the 14 to 24, the 24 to 70, and the 85 f1.4. Now I think the 85 is gonna be great for stuff like this. And then we'll jump to video a little bit later on. So uh, we're about to get the car that we're going to be shooting today in here. Uh, Ben's just rolling it around, we're going to reverse it in. Today I am shooting this Ferrari 488 Spider. This thing has a V8 3.9 litre twin turbo engine producing over 660 brake horsepower, flies over at 200 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in about 3.1 seconds. This thing is just a work of art as well. And yeah, I told you I was bringing next level content this year and here we are. Alright, so we've done all the uh, photography with the Ferrari. I'm going to be jumping and doing the video side of things in a second. However, uh, Ben's just offered me to do a rolling shot of his car. So I'm going to slap on the Sony a7 IV, the 24-70. I'm going to put a GoPro on the car. 
and then we're gonna go on the back stretch right here and we're just gonna get a shit ton of photographs it's also nice and cloudy outside as well so that should um really be good with the light as well we don't have to worry about shadows or anything like that so yeah let's go out and do it and uh let's get this shot done pictures uh Oh yeah, yeah, so now I'll mess with me later on. You, you didn't hear that here. <laughs> oh, is that recording? Yeah. Is it? That is an opportunity you never turn down as a photographer. Take any opportunity you ever get and fucking send it. This is kind of mad. First time shooting with a Sony a7 IV. I'm already hanging it out of a car window. Then I'll, on the way back up, I'll overtake. Sounds good. We've just done the uh, rolling shots and oh my fucking god there is one shot that is just the winner the absolute winner ben reactions speechless absolutely speechless all right so for the next part of the video we're going to be focusing on the camera's video capabilities now i want to put that 4k 60 through its paces now everything i've shot today so far has been at 422 10 bit uh but i would normally shoot this next sequence at like 120 fps to give myself the maximum amount of frame rate however the sony a7 IV doesn't support for 422 10-bit at 120 fps at 1080 it only does 8-bit 420 unsure why sony have honestly done that because it kind of cripples their camera a little bit 8-bit is still good enough but 422 is just so much better so i'm going to shoot a 4k 6d see how that crop is because um there is a bit of a crop with 4k 60 a little bit of a shame there as well but i've never shot with it so that's just my first uh, impressions looking in video video format 4k movie settings 4k 60 422 200 megs so with my gimbal all set up and ready to go i'll tell you how i've set it up so my mode one on my ronin rsc2 is set to pan follow mode two is 360 uh, which i'm definitely going to be using a few times with this and then i've got my fpv on uh, slow mode uh, which means it kind of responds to uh, that kind of thing as you can see right there and then the focus of the uh, camera itself i've got it programmed to this custom button right here that you find on uh, a lot of sigma lenses and i've set that to six uh, transition speed so it's quite fast at focusing and these sigma lenses are fantastic for focus anyway so uh, it means it's quick and snappy and able to kick, uh, keep up with the kind of movement and things i'm throwing at it so um we're all ready to go let's start shooting this thing What's up? Oh, that does look good. Oh, that looks very good. Look at our backdrop. The last thing we're doing today is taking some final shots of the Ferrari, but we've got it out here. This is looking good. Switch back onto the GoPro, get some final shots. That looks ace. You suit that. Right? Yeah. What happens if we get the Ferrari like facing this way? Sony A7 IV, very first shoot with it, she's just taking a camera where it's never been before on a first shoot. <laughs> Ben has uh, let me drive his fucking Beamer. Well, I say drive it, I'm fucking reversing it, but I'm fucking shitting myself. I mean, it's okay that I'm driving it here because uh, it's just private land. But we're just doing, the sky has just got a lot better. Um, if you can see there, the sky looks amazing. So I'm just going to grab the Ferrari. We can't really drive anymore because it's out of fuel. Well, it's not out of fuel, but it hasn't got that much in it. Right, about there should do it. And then... 
dude, look at that. You cannot tell me that doesn't look sick. Yeah, yeah, mate. Nice one. All uh, right, take care. But yeah, as soon as I get the photos, mate, I'll... All right, that is uh, today's uh, photo shoot, video shoot all done. So much great content collected. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Um, hopefully the hot, the main like bulk video, the main part came out really well. Uh, I haven't done anything like that in a while, but I absolutely love doing that kind of style of things. So if people want to see like a tutorial or something like that, please let me know. And the photography as well. The photography we got today was next level. I loved every single shot. The Sony A7 IV managed everything I threw at it. I mean, I even hung it out of a window and got some amazing shots. Like, I don't know how I'm editing this vlog together because it has just been insane. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out Ben, his uh, Instagram account is linked in the description below. I'm going to uh, head back now. I'll give some thoughts on my Sony a7 IV and then we'll have a look through the uh, hashtag CP photos. So here are my very brief thoughts about the Sony a7 IV. Now I want to make this short as possible because I'm going to be doing plenty of other dedicated videos around this camera, how I set it up for photography and video as I mentioned earlier, uh, my favourite features, plenty of POVs, uh, a full review. So if you don't want to miss any of that content, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell icon to be notified for whenever I release a new video. And if you have any questions in particular, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, but yeah, let me just speak about this camera now. Right, let's get photography out of the way. It is superb. Sony, again, has made an absolutely fantastic camera for photography. Photographers are gonna love it. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to take it out and do some POVs with it. Um, and then the video side of things. Video is absolutely fantastic. The colors are amazing. That 422 10-bit is amazing to work with. This might surprise people, but this is my very first camera that I've ever owned personally that actually has 422 10-bit video internal and it is so lovely to work with. And I'm so glad I've got it in a camera now because it's something I have wanted for years. Now, there are a couple of things I'm a little bit annoyed about, so not annoyed, but a slight disappointment. And that is the 4K 60 crop. Yes, it still looks absolutely fantastic, but it would be nice to have it full frame. And I'm surprised Sony have actually done that to their camera a little bit. And same with the 1080 120fps, I'm surprised they've not done that as 422 10-bit. With those two things on the sideline, this camera 4 video is absolutely fantastic. And it's going to be my daily driver for photography and videography, and I'm not disappointed with it. And I would highly recommend this camera to anybody looking at buying it for themselves. It is fantastic. All right, so the last thing we're going to do today is have a look at some of your work for the hashtag CP photos. Don't pay notice that I'm going to be changing clothes and standing over there. It's definitely not because I accidentally deleted this part of the video um, earlier on today. Looking for the hashtag today, I'm only going to look at car photography. So we've got our first one right here by Visuals by Eva. It's one of this uh, nice Beamer. Nice grey on it. I like the uh, colour on that one. And the interior shots are pretty cool as well. It's a nice collection right there. This one by Brandon Good. Um, wow. Oh, that is a classic. An American classic right there. A V8 that probably just turns petrol into noise. What we love. Uh, this one right here by Hayden's Photography. Nice collection right here of this GT3. Um, this Ferrari by AspectX.Official. That yellow just absolutely hits you. The yellow brake calipers, the black alloys, shot at night with the background all just comes together. That is a, that's a gorgeous colour for that car as well. Very eye-catching. Uh, let's scroll down a bit more. This Aston right here by Finest Details Media. Nice collection right here. Like the red brake calipers and that Aston right there. That's gorgeous. And we'll scroll down a bit more. Oh, look at that. That by Cole for just like... Almost, it feels like an abandoned Porsche and it just feels wrong in so many ways. Look at that. That is a classic right there. Let's see if we can find any more. Got a Beetle. There you go. Got to give that Beetle a like. Look at that. 
Pretty cool uh, collection right there. And let's see if we can find a couple more today. Oh, we found a couple more. So we've got this Merc right here. Nice collection right here. Oh, I love that one with the logo and the rain on it as well. That looks so cool. And the headlight right there. And then this final one today will be this one. This one by Savage B8. And that's a really cool slammed photograph of this Audi. That is, uh, that is pretty cool. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone continuing to use the hashtag CP photos over on Instagram. If you're not using it, then make sure you do. Um, your work might be featured right here on the channel. And I'd like to uh, say I forgot. That's where I'm going to be leaving today's video, guys. It has been wild, compact, and I can't believe how much filming photography we did. This has been one of my favorite vlogs to actually do because there was just so much going on and hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. But until next time guys, keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Later.